Hi, in this playlist we're going to be looking at a series of questions on the topic of bounds. It's probably going to be something round about grade 6, grade 7 on a typical GCSE question. There's about four or five particular examples of questions in the following videos, but please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions and then compare your solutions. Uh, so let's have a look at the first one. So we've got this um, rectangle has a length of that and the important thing that we need to remember is it's correct to the nearest centimeter so let's just have a look at that first what we mean is is that we have 14 but the lower bound in other words the smallest this particular measurement can be is going to be 13.5 because that will be the lowest number so that if we make this correct to the centimeter that will then become four so it become 14 so this would be the lowest it could possibly be now with bounds we're really talking more about tolerances so it's not really rounding you've got to be a little bit careful about that what we're saying is is that ideally it's 14 but actually it's 0.5 below so the upper bound would be 14.5. Okay, let's have a look now at the number 4.3. And again, we've got this lower bound and upper bound. Okay, so the lower bound, and what it says is correct to the nearest millimeter. So a bit of a sneaky one in there, millimeter, which is actually this 0.3 here. Okay, so that would be as a lower bound 4.25. That would be the smallest that could be so that it will round to 4.3. Okay, um, where the three is three millimeters. So the largest is going to be 4.35. OK, so let's have a look at that. We're being asked in this particular part A to work out the perimeter. In part B, we're going to be working out the area. But if we look at the perimeter first, what we've got is basically a rectangle. And the upper bound is going to be the longest this can be is 14.5. The longest this can be is 4.35. And if we calculate... All of these added up together, so we're going to have 14.5 plus 4.35 plus 14.5 again plus 4.35. If we add all of that together, we're going to get 37.7. So the upper bound, the biggest this perimeter can actually be, is going to be 37.7 centimetres. And that would answer that particular question. OK, so we're going to apply similar sort of logic when we're looking at the lower bound for the area of the rectangle. So again, if I just sketch out the rectangle, I don't need to, nothing too fancy here, but the smallest the um, length is going to be is going to be 13.5 and the smallest the width is going to be is going to be 4.25. So if I want to work out the lower bound for the area, if I multiply those two numbers together, I get 13.5 times 4.25. And you can either calculate that or use a calculator or something, but you should get an answer of 57.375 centimetres squared. And that would be the answer to part B of this question. OK, I hope it's been useful to you. Please do uh, add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. I'll always come back to you and also have a look at some of the other videos within this particular playlist to give you some more practice on working with bounds. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.